Police in Nairobi have detained four Nigerian nationals uh, in connection with the tragic death of a 25-year-old man who reportedly fell from the fifth floor of a building in the Riruta area. Did you guys heard about that? The victim, identified as Charles Waga Otieno, was employed at a nearby car wash and had, a, and had been delivering a carpet to the Nigerians' residence where they lived on the seventh floor of a corner height apartment at Naivasha Road. According to a witness, Otieno arrived at the apartment complex to complete the delivery of the carpet task for which he allegedly paid. He was paid 400 shillings. However, moments later, screams were heard and Otieno lamenting from the fifth floor, sustaining several head injuries upon impact to the ground. However, later screams were heard akipiga nduru akiwa pale fifth floor akiwa na injuries za kichwa vibaya sana impacting with the ground uh, law enforcement officers divorced law enforcement officers discovered Otieno's personal belongings including his mobile phone earring and a cape scattered along the path leading from the apartment where he made the delivery of the carpet did you guys remember about that Curiously, Otieno was found without his trouser, raising questions about the circumstances, circumstances leading to his fall. Despite the tragic incident, neighbors observed that the Nigerians appeared unfazed by the ordeal, further depending the mystery surrounding Otieno's death. A closure inspection of the apartment's balcony revealed railings deemed too high for someone to simplify jump off, casting doubt on the initial description provided by the suspects. Otieno was rushed to Coptic Hospital uh, by the emergency services but was pronounced dead on arrival. Authorities are treating the case as a homicidal and are currently holding the four foreign national of the state of Nigeria while investigations are still going on. Described as a build, described as a budding rape, Otieno's admittedly demise has left those who knew him mourning the loss of a young talent who was forced to work at a local car wash to make ends meet. Jameni, what is happening in Kenya? Suicidal cases each and every day. These things might be taken, must be taken seriously. And these Nigerian guys wakipatikana in a lot of cases. Does it mean that the police or machine could control the laws in Kenya? I will leave your comments and let us know what you think about today's uh, video so this is your host kelvin juguna at social pulse studios sps see you next time same time same place